So, so I'm following on from my last video. Um, I decided not to do um, the cuff first, um, just purely because it's not for me. And if it's too loose, I can just take it all off and do it tighter again, do less stitches, do it tighter for her. Um, with it being for my twin sister, she's nearly the same size as me. So doing it the same size as before. So I surmised what I used when I did a couple of test pieces to find it the same size as my last jumper um, that I actually used a four millimetre Tunisian crochet hook. Now I casted on 126 stitches in the same colour that I'm going to do the cuff. So as when I attach the cuff, it, it just looks better. So. This is what I've done so far. I can't see this. It's all screwed up on my needle. Sorry. Um, started off, and yeah, I got blue and white in the end. So I've started off with the blue. Um, I'll tell you the colours in a minute. And that's the reindeer, the first reindeer. As you can see, it looks better than the test piece that I did before, which was long and thin, if you remember. Um, so there's I have no need to change this reindeer, it really looks fine. I might put a little, one of them fluffy noses you get from Abadastridis on there and you can get different colours. So I want to do other reindeers, I might put red, gold, maybe a green one on, you know. Um, that I'll tell you the colours I used. So I always, when I'm using DK, I always work with this yarn purely because it's soft, it doesn't stretch when I wash it, it kind of keeps its shape when I'm crocheting. Can't say it's the same for knitting though, I'm not really a knitter. Um, so this is what I use, it's Woolcroft New Fashion DK. And let me get my glasses and I'll tell you the code number. The shade for the white is 7F76 and for the blue, same yarn, I never mix branded yarns when I'm doing one project, I always stick to the same brand and this is called denim and it's shade 7134. It's a long way around isn't it but you can still see it, that one. Yeah. And that's that's what I'm using. So like I say, I cast it on with four millimetre Tunisian hook, 121 si stitches. You don't have to do with a Tunisian, you don't have to do 127 chain to get 126 stitches. You just have to do chain 126 stitches to get 126 stitches. Now if you fair pounds to stitch, just because I think it looks it looks more Christmassy. Um, it just even when I did the red and green jumper, it just looks more Christmassy. But if it's too difficult for you to do the hounds tools and the picture, or make one of them, don't do the picture or don't do the hounds tool. Do, do a plain jumper. Um, I've only done a few rows. Um, it's quite difficult when you've got a small child running around to concentrate on the hounds tool. Um, but what I've done, when I was doing, when I was doing the reindeer, um, when I did the test piece reindeer, I went straight across the back, all the way up there. But on there, when you get to that bit and you're splitting, you can actually see, because it's so dark, the reindeer, you can actually see the dark going through the white. So... I haven't done that this time. I've split it and as you can see I've got one piece of yarn going up here and one piece of yarn going up up there. Um so as we can't see the dark through there. Um sometimes depending on what mood I'm in, I will cut my yarn and just do it in pieces. Um because I, I do it all the same way. If you can see on there, I twist it down all the same way because I like I just like it to look neat on the inside and when you buy a pair of gloves 
or anything that's got pictures on it, they tend to just take the yarn from there to there and then ca and then carry on. So you've got this bit of yarn that when you're putting your fingers in gloves, your fingers go through it. I don't like that. So I like to twist it on every stitch. So it looks neat. Looks nice. I'll just give you another look at the picture. There we go. I've got three reindeers to put on this side in different places on the same side, like the snowflake jumper, in, in different places as you go up. And I'll be doing that on the hood and I'll be doing that on the back on the same side as well. Um, I think that's it for today. Um, yeah, oh yeah, I've got the gauge right on the Tunisian um, crochet stitch. It, as I said in the first video, I'll get that to you. And it was 24 slash 18 so if you're making a picture um for this jumper i'm i'm about a size in, in between a 10 and a 12 um uk ladies um so if you wanted to change the picture you're 126 stitches on your um stitch fiddle picture and i'll let you know in the next video how many rows i went up okay